I don't care anymore about what's normal or what's right. And this is what bipolar looks like. It's where you, you can't get a grip on what your life is supposed to mean, or it's what all, it's supposed to do. Okay. It's all dark because we're in the sun. Okay. Get something better than that. This is what bipolar looks like. It's angry all the time because there's no emphasis on what's important. Nothing's important anymore. And some people, are, they have the audacity to think it's dangerous to shoot a video while you're driving. Well, so what? How stupid is that? I would rather die doing a video than die not doing a video. At least this is the one way that you can communicate to the outside world that's all around you. This world is so big connected to the internet. That's so weird that some device called the internet links everybody potentially together in a way that they never could have linked together in the past. So it's a brilliant thing. I love my wife desperately, but I'm the one that's the most savage to her because I don't have any clue about how to go anywhere with my anger, my energy that I'm so defeated when I don't feel like the, the world is on my side. It's like, well, why do I go to work? Why do I even get up in the morning? Because there's nothing to look forward to without my kids. When I don't have my kids, I don't have anything. To me, I want to live with my kids. That's why I'm a dad. That's why I produced four children. That's why I have four wonderful sons. So then, my wife that I love took them away from me so I don't have anything that I want. If I made a million dollars a day, I still wouldn't have my kids living with me and that's all I really wanted. Well, maybe that's the one thing that I shouldn't want because that's the one thing that I can't have that I want. But why would you always go around life not having what you want and pretending like you shouldn't want it just so you can feel better? I don't feel better when I lie to myself, do you? It's mad at me because I'm swearing. But I'm mad at me because I have a problem that I can't resolve whether I swear or not, whether there's profanity or not. So it makes no sense. Nothing makes sense. But if it did make sense, I wonder if I would feel better. And is it always about feeling better? Is, is life only about feelings? Am I the crazy one? Because I choose not to medicate, because I choose not to be stupid enough to numb myself with synthetic drugs that only make pharmacies and American Medical Association associates wealthy. Why am I so in love with the American Medical Association? I am not. I don't bow to the insurance gods, I don't bow to the medical gods, and I don't medicate with synthetic drugs. That's stupid. I'm angry, but many people are. I'm not the only angry person to ever be on this planet. And when I'm born and then I die, the stuff I do in the middle has no big significance unless for some weird reason there's an outside audience getting benefit and appreciation and even entertainment from it. If that's all you get, that's good enough. For some reason, I have to be appreciated or at least feel like I'm being appreciated by an outside audience bigger than myself. Someone that I, that I would never even know otherwise wise other than through the internet or through an electronic means. So that's why I'm saying this. That's why I'm doing this. It makes no sense to me to live my life with nothing to look forward to other than just missing my children. Of course I love my wife. But if I was only about my wife, then that would be enough. I wouldn't be angry, would I? Who cares whether the children live with me or not? But that's my beef. That's my real rub with life, is that I don't have the circumstances that I want. Now a lot of you guys know that you don't have the circumstances that you want. So maybe you're just furious at the world as well. Maybe you use profanity or alcohol or drugs, promiscuity, whatever uh, your outlet, whatever your thing is. You're going to abuse something or yourself or others. Well, I'm telling you right now, straight up, you can have all these feelings like I do and I want to kill myself and I don't. I don't go out and abuse stuff. I do uh, say things I shouldn't, but I don't go out and hurt people. My wife believes in me. She loves me and trusts me. That's what matters to me. My kids love me. They trust me. They believe in me. 
and I believe in love and trust them. Those are the things that matter most. And beyond that, there's a lot of people out there in the world that haven't heard this message that need to. So I'm going to put it out there and let people read it or hear it so they can understand what it's like. And I hope you can put your comments below and make this real for yourself. Just open up and say one thing that you would do if you could. And maybe there's one thing you can't have, but maybe that one hang-up that you currently have that you can't have is the one thing you need to confess right now to this audience and get it out of your system where you can all get healing.